218-209-7265. Can, can you give that to me again? Sorry. Um, you can contact me by phone, 218-209-7265. You can also look uh, for me on, uh, message me on Facebook. It's uh, uh, Tito Ibarra, T-I-T-O, and Ibarra, Y-B-A-R-R-A. And uh, also, if you need to email me, it's, it's uh, the Powwow Friends at Gmail. You can email mm-hmm. me, but phone would be the best way, so. So, uh, you're, but you're also kind of the, the comedian of the camp as well, the most highly trained comedian, perhaps? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I've, I've been doing uh, comedy for, for the last uh, three years, actually, professionally, but I've always been like, a goofy guy, class clown kind of person. Mm-hmm. I, I, I watched a few of your videos before I came up here. They were quite funny. Cool, appreciate that. 1491 and all that. Yeah, right on, right on, yeah, appreciate that. So, how, I mean, how would you say that uh, comedy can be used to kind of, you know, uh, reach into these I- issues and, like, intervene in a constructive way? Well, um, my way of thinking, some of this stuff is so simple. Like, it's so simple to me, you know, and, 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 for, and sometimes to, to uh, put it in a, in, a, in a manner that makes it seem so simple that people don't, you know, might not think about it, that they... They, uh, they, uh, make things too difficult sometimes, you know what I mean? Like, it's not, it's not, it's not, you don't need to be a scientist to know that what's going on is bad for the earth, you know, and that we need the earth and water to, to survive, you know? Billionaires probably don't, because they can always move someplace else, you know? But, um, spirits, I guess, you know, spirit, keeping spirits up, you know, that's where the, the, the humor comes, comes in, you know what I mean? And, and also, if you can use... I've heard a comedian say that uh, that uh, co- comedy is one of the last forms of freedom of speech, and if you can say say stuff, you know, to where people are like, yeah, you know, I never thought of it like that. Both while laughing, it stops them from looking at the negative right away, or or getting, you know, oh, I don't agree with that, you know what I mean, or you know, you know what I mean. If you get them to laugh, maybe they'll be like, oh, well, yeah, you know, it, it's it's good energy, you know what I mean, instead of you know, with everything. Is based on beliefs, you know. If you have a belief about something, then that's it. It stops there. It's like reading a cover. It's like thinking you know of what a book's about by reading the cover. You know what I mean? Um, and and uh, comedy can kind of show the irony of uh, you know we were talking about this this very artificial system where people are so alienated, and we can use humor to kind of just show kind of how crazy it is and like laugh at, at something that's so convoluted and implausible it's a way to kind of get a little more power back from something so absurd you know yeah exactly and like like i said it, it's 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 not so it's then, then if you can use humor it's not so confrontational it's not so so uh easily debatable you know what i mean like people are always quick to debate and, and tell you how much they know about a subject you know what i mean especially if you come at them in a, in a form where it's like i said it's confrontational and it, but if you can laugh, it, you can get people thinking. You know what I mean? Yeah, like the, the that just like that, yeah. that's funny. But you know, that was, that was funny. Remember what he said? That was funny. You know, and, and they'll be thinking about it later. You know? Yeah, like there are parts of this that are um, confrontational, and parts of it like uh, people step back at times from from using the phrase blockade. There's nothing being blockaded here. It was Robert who was mm-hmm. saying yeah. that, but we still have this hashtag RL blockade. That maybe people are paying attention to, but some things have been. Confrontational to raise raise the the temperature with end breaks, like putting in the in the the fence. Is that is that a, a funny way to, to trigger something or no no of course not. That's that's using their words. They're using their their words. Uh, I don't understand what to say against them, but you know. Um, Do you make that phone call? Is that like an authentic? No, I didn't make. No, I didn't make the phone call. I don't. I, and I can't tell you who made the phone call. But um, but it's authentic, I believe. Yeah, it, it yeah. is authentic, and uh, and yeah. It, it, but we've got funny. one, only one, <laughs> one newspaper article written by mainstream media about this this protest after 15, 16 days. What do you, what do you think has to happen? There will be more, and I think uh, we need more, more of um, our people, our Red Lakers, to come out here to. Cause that's the big issue. Like I didn't know about this till uh, maybe four months ago. Like I said, when I helped, helped to organize that round dance near the border, never even heard of this, you know. And people need to get out of their comfort zone. You know, people need to get out of their comfort zone and, and not just be okay with everything. You know, 
know, not to just hear something and say, oh, well, it's being taken care of. You know, I don't need to challenge this information. <coughs> I don't need to read into this anymore because I've been told by the government, I've been told by whoever, the tribal government, I've been told, you know, that it's being taken care of. You know, you, know, you need to question things. You know, you, and get out of, in order to do that, you gotta, you gotta first think that it's okay to do that, to question. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And you gotta, and you gotta get out of your comfort zone. You know, you gotta come out here. You, gotta, you know, you gotta learn. You know. Mm -hmm. I mean, my reason, I, my reason, I didn't, I didn't really, I knew about like the I don't know more stuff and everything like that. But for me, the first reaction I got was, well, these people are red Lakers. They need help. I'm gonna go. I'll find out what it's all about when I get there. You know, that's just automatic. You know what I mean? If red Laker comes to me, mm -hmm. wants help, and you know, now I'm learning a lot more. And, and, uh, mm -hmm. That's the way it should be, you know what I mean? Totally. And there's a, there's a also too, you know, you gotta, you gotta be able to, to have an open mind enough to, to, uh, to, uh, to believe that what's going on here is, is, is also part of a, like, like a spiritual awakening that's happening. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We have stories, we have, you know, uh, stories about, we have prophecies. You know, just like the Bible has prophecies, we have our own prophecies that talk about this, 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 everything that's happening right now. You know, so you have to be able to, to, uh, to have an open mind enough, you know, that there's not just one, you know, uh, one, not just one religion on this earth. Not just one story. Yeah, not just one story, you know. And I believe our stories are all very similar, they're just in different ways, you know. Mm -hmm. But you have to have an open mind enough to be able to think that, you know. So when I talk about spiritual, a spiritual awakening... For myself, there's a lot of things that happen here that that uh, I have feeling were gonna happen. Like before this happened, I had like this urge inside of me to build a fire and go sit in the woods and just pray. I kept putting it off, kept putting it off, and I ended up here, fire out in the woods, you know, praying. Yeah. You know. Wow. And uh, that's not just uh, that's not just by chance. I don't think you know. That's that's. Uh, so, do you see people? Does this, do people seem to be waking up? Does it seem like they're that this is somehow kind of starting to roll things along? Like, I think so because this is not just the only place this is happening. You know what I mean? There's tons of things going on right now. Not just not just with the I don't know more movement in Canada and and with natives, but this is spreading all over the all over the world. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So yeah, definitely, you know, definitely there's a there's a, a spiritual awakening happening. happening. Yeah. I just wanted to ask, did any of you guys want to add anything about, like, what this kind of makes you feel, like, what you think is going on here? Do you want to add anything? Okay. Like, right. I mean, I, yeah. I, I, I like, the, like, the, like, what this, the stuff with, the, with all the Mayans, right? Mm -hmm. Mayan calendar, you know? That, uh, right away, people want you to fear, fear that, you know? And that's what we did. That's what a lot of people did. They feared the end of the world's coming, you know? End of the world's coming. And, of course, they're blaming on the Indians. No, I'm just kidding, but... But uh, the end, of the, the end of the world's coming, right? So they want you to fear that. But there's there's also there's another side of that coin, you know. What I mean, a positive, optimistic, you know that that it's not it's the end of the world as we know it. People were saying, but that doesn't mean it has, necessarily has to be a bad thing, you know. It could be a good thing. The world is changing, you know? mm -hmm. and I think that's re really what's going on. A, a gateway of a different perception between yeah. people. Yeah, you know, there's there's a, there's a, there's a negative way to look at things and there's a positive way, you know, and, mm -hmm. and uh, we're so conditioned to be fear, you know, to be fearful, you know, TV, media, commercials, you know, i seen a uh, commercial of, uh, for some teeth whitening and stuff, you know, they want, they, they told this woman to be, to, to be scared of her teeth being yellow and going to pick up her kid at school and how her kid was going to get, get teased because her teeth were yellow, you know what I mean? You know how many people probably went and bought this stuff just because they don't want their kid to get picked on because their teeth are yellow? Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's fear. <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? It's totally. Fear. It's totally fear. All right. And, and, and if you don't understand something, that's that's like we've been conditioned to... to that's the automatic reaction. It's yeah. Fear. But fear I, the unknown. You but know? humor can just cut through fear. Sometimes in those moments when you are so fearful and then somebody like cracks that joke and it's like a spell being broken you know sometimes and those are just great moments those are some of my favorites you know and, and, and like i said i've only been doing this the last few years but i've learned so much you know i've had to conquer my own fear you know fear of uh ridicule 
you know, bullying, stuff like that. Because it's, it's, I never really experienced it until I started doing this, this comedy stuff. And, uh, and but yeah, there's, there's, uh, there's also, you know, politically correct, you know. You know how boring I'd be if I was politically correct? So I have to get over that fear, too, you know, that I'm going to offend somebody. Because you know what? You're going to offend somebody anyway. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I can either do it the way people want me to do it, or I can be fearless and do it the way that I want to do it, you know. Because it would suck to be successful or, or to be successful on somebody else's terms because you yeah. probably wouldn't be, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. It wouldn't, it wouldn't be validating to just kind of yeah. play somebody I'd else's game. i do it my way than, you know, yeah. because that's what got me here anyway. Yeah, that's great. I think it, I think it's just so cool that you've you know brought such a positive spirit and helped put so much energy into this and really get this going and that's start. Medicine, man. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? I'm a medicine man. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm not a medicine man. <laughs> no, but you know it is. Humor you know, is the they, best what, medicine. What they say? What, yeah, what they say last is the best medicine. Yeah. You know I mean, and at a time like this, you gotta you gotta you need that, you know, because there's so much anger. Trust me, I mean, I'm angry about all, a lot of the stuff that's going down too. So there's balance. You got to get that balance, you know. Yeah. You need it, otherwise, you know, you end up in jail or something like that. You know what I mean? Like we've been joking about all the stuff that's been happening around, around here. You know, you have to joke about this stuff or it'll eat you up. People shooting fireworks at us and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Well, if I'm, you know, what, I'm gonna get mad, go chase that person, and then get myself in trouble, then end up in jail. And I'm, you know what I mean? No, best just to joke about it. Their ignorance, because that's what it is, because they don't know what's going on. All they know is that we're natives out here. That's all they know, you know, and that's that's the definition of ignorance, you know, not knowing mm-hmm. what's going on, just hating something because you don't know what's going on, you know yeah. what I mean? You have no knowledge of the situation. Yeah, totally. Well, uh, thank you so much. Yeah, all thank right. you for yeah. being here. Yeah, I'm glad I can make it. It's been yeah. really cool.